Hi guys, I'm Igor and welcome to my channel. The Today's video will be the first one of a small series where I will be installing various mods on my OneHow i3 Plus 3D printer. Today I'm gonna install spring cups and custom thumb screws which are supposed to improve the build plate stability and therefore improve the print quality. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Here is what we need for this upgrade. Uh, we need three 3D printed thumb screws, and I'm gonna explain why three and not four a little bit later. We also need spring cups. The ones with larger holes are for the top part of the uh, spring, the ones with a smaller hole go on the bottom. And again, we need six of them, uh, two for, for each spring, and print them with something a little bit more temperature resistant than PLA. I've printed them with PDG. Now we need three M3 lock nuts or nylocks. We would need a pair of pliers, an Allen key, uh, I don't remember which size is that, I just know it fits these screws, so find something. So with that out of the way, let's get started. We will start, we will start with unscrewing the build plate. So I'm going to un unscrew all three thumb screws. Oops, wrong way. There we go. That's two. Oops, dropped it. And the third one. Yep, there it goes. Okay, now carefully lift the build plate up. Try not to lose any uh, springs or break the wires on the back on the heated build plate. Now here is why we needed the top cups with larger holes. See, uh, one how i3 plus has these lock nuts installed here while the regular i3 doesn't have them. So if you have an i3 I actually recommend adding these lock nuts. These are regular M3 lock nuts with some sort of uh, thermal isolating washer between the lock nut and the build plate. But yeah, it's uh, since we have i3 plus, uh, before we proceed, let's tighten up these lock nuts. Otherwise, they, the screws will rotate when we will be adjusting our bed. So we uh, keep the lock nut with your pair of pliers and using your Allen key tighten up those, uh, those screws. Okay, now as we have all our screws tightened, let's grab the top spring cup with a larger hole in it and put it on top of the lock nut. It's a tight fit. Oops, dropped it. So yeah, it's a tight fit. 
So you may actually want to use a, your pair of pliers carefully. Uh, yeah, like this one doesn't fit very well. So yeah, just grab a, a pair of pliers and carefully squeeze it into, into its place. So repeat this for, this for all three corners and this part is done. Okay, let's start assembling our build plate back. So grab your spring, uh, put it back onto the screw so the top of the spring goes inside the spring cup. It's gonna hold it just fine, so repeat with all three springs. like this okay now let's put the bottom cups obviously on the bottom Okay, now here comes the fun part. We will start assembling our thumb screw. So grab a thumb screw. It's 3D printed in PLA. Uh, grab a nylock and just insert the nylock into the slot. Again, it's kind of tight. It may be tight. In that case, again, use a pair of pliers. In my case, it's okay, so just screw it into its place until it grabs. Yep, it's there. And now repeat two more times, just the same. Put it there. And screw it in place. So we are pretty much done. The screws should be fairly tight. Uh, nothing should wobble. Uh, everything should be sturdy. Now let's put back our glass, re-level the bed and give it a try. This mod is supposed to improve the bed stability. And before I was having some problems with the thumb screws unscrewing by themselves, especially during the long prints with, uh, again, especially with a lot of fine uh, Y-axis movement, they, they were just getting loose and the uh, whole thing was getting out of alignment, basically causing some, causing problems during the prints. So, yep. From now on, it's just a normal procedure. Heat, up, heat it up, re-level. And just print. Okay, so here is our printer fully assembled and working. So what can I say about this really simple mod? Well, it's not a must have, but it is definitely nice to have. Uh, it has improved my experience. I mean, before I had to re-level the bed like every second, every third print, now I can go like 10 prints without re-leveling the bed and also during long prints the screws do not get loose the bed doesn't go out of alignment and yeah I would say that the print quality has somewhat improved 
perhaps because of the more stable bed. So let me try to explain why I got rid of the fourth screw on my build plate. So imagine this piece of cardboard is your plate. This is a plane, right? A plane in space. So as you may remember from the geometry course, a plane can be defined with three points. One, two, three, right? So as long as you have three points, you will have a plane and no matter how these points are oriented the plane will essentially stay a plane it will not deform okay so it can be oriented anyway but it will still remain flat now if you add a fourth point right here now your plane can be deformed. So see, these, the initial three points remain in place, but I can bend the fourth point. I can move it. I mean, I can move the I, mean, I can move this fourth point and the whole thing will bend. Okay, so essentially when you are adjusting your build plate using four screws, right, you are there is a good chance you will you you will be bending your uh, your build plate somehow. So this is why essentially I this is why I got rid of the uh, fourth screw and switched to three point adjustment. And believe me, it's much easier, much simpler to adjust the build plate using only three screws well as long as you have a flat surface and my glass is relatively smooth and flat so it works really well it works much better than it used to work before okay so that's it for today thank you guys for staying with me until the end i hope you like this video if so then please click that like button uh, feel free to ask any questions in the comments section. Feel free to share this video. And also, stay tuned for the next part of this series where I will be installing Z braces on my OneHow i3 Plus 3D printer. And in order not to miss the next video, please click that subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll get a notification where, when I upload my next video. Uh, thank you very much. And don't forget to have fun. Bye.